how to disassemble and assemble back Pardus SPX. The model is uh, named Pardus ST in US, USA. Screw off the muzzle brake, that's the cosmetic view only. Screw off the magazine cap, which keeps the forearm uh, to the receiver. Now the forearm is free, you can slide it out. And there is another extra fixing nut the barrel to the receiver, screw off and now barrel is free to take out slide off be sure when assembling back the piston will be in its place now how to take out the uh, mechanism group stop the mechanism at the back and you need to make the ramp down the loading lamp and take out the bolt handle and now mechanism bolt is also free to take out and this is the action spring that you can if you would like to clean you can take this out as well how to take out the firing pin so over here just push it down take out the firing spring and firing pin and uh, lock out so you can see it's very simple okay so when assembling back take the lock inside firing pin spring and together inside the bolt in the reverse side, bottom side of the mechanism, you put the pin inside. Now it's assembled. Be sure that the spring and the firing pin is working. The action spring. There is um, two Allianz uh, screws to you need to take out. This is to disassemble the sliding telescopic stock in the backwards that now back side is free take that out there is another alien to disassemble the receiver from the lower uh, group it can be quite strong so you may need some extra tooling for this okay you can use anything to take help for screwing off be sure that you when you are assembling back be sure that you strongly screw in uh, the bolt which fixes the receiver to the lower trigger group take this out and now receiver is also Free. Okay, this is the trigger group mechanism. If you need extra assembly, there are pins on the sides so you can take out uh, everything and make your assembly. This is the um, mechanism stopper. Okay, so take that back after your maintenance and cleaning the bolt again to be screwed in okay. now the sliding stock in in some models we have fixed stocks which is together with uh, a complete group with the lower receiver and completely fixed stock we also have uh, side folding adapters you can uh, adapt in between the sliding and the lower receiver the action spring in well, you you not 
Okay, uh, the mechanism group can be put in. Be sure that the ramp is down to put the mechanism group inside. Just slide backwards. And there's, there's a place that you can uh, take out and put in the uh, bolt handle. So you need to catch the point. Okay, that's in. You, you will hear a click voice. Okay, now you can make the <coughs> ramp up, slide back and make the ramp up. That, that's a certain point to uh, work the ramp button, so sometimes you may feel a little bit hardness, but it must be hard because uh, it has not to be moved when the gun is working. The barrel is in. Be sure the piston is over there. Okay. And the fixing nut. Now the barrel is, the barrel is fixed. And the forearm slide down in its place. And there is a base for the magazine cap. Be sure you put that inside. There is a ball bearing in this part which helps the uh, magazine cap to be fixed. Now the forearm is also fixed on the gun. And the muzzle brake. In some models we do just straight so there is no muzzle brake accessory. Can leave it slug or so if it works you can change the magazine five rounds ten rounds mm -hmm. when, when it's empty the magazine will stay at the back the telescopic sliding stock there are four degrees you can arrange and also the chickpeas can be up and down <laughs>